Uh, hey everybody, so what we're doing in this video is I'm showing you how you can modify one of these pixel art activities to suit your needs. Um, before I do that, I do want to give a shout out to this gentleman, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but I will link his website in the description of this video because he has been posting a lot of these activities for free for us teachers. Um, so I do want to share his webpage with you. I'll link it again and I will also put in the description of the video links to uh, or at least one link to this particular activity that you can see on my screen right now. So what I wanted to do today is take this activity and change it so that my Spanish 2 students who are learning um, preterite conjugations of irregular verbs could use the same picture. So this is how you do that. First thing you're going to want to do is make a copy of the original document because if you start changing the original one, uh, and you mess something up along the way, it might be hard to go back. So make a copy of it. And once you have that copy, what you're going to want to do is first change all of these clues right here. So like if uh, I'll show you what I did here. So this this was the original one, and I'll tell you why the fish is gone in just a second. But I made an, I made all of these changes right here. These are all these various verbs in the preterite in Spanish that have changes um, that the students are studying right now. So I made all of these changes first. And when you make those changes, it's not going to have any effect on this right now. But what I want to have happen is that, so what I want to have happen is when a student types the correct answer in this box, which yo tener in the preterite is tuve, when they do that, then that's when the color should come up. But obviously, if you were, if you saw it, it disappeared. So I'm going to change, change it so that those colors match these new words. This is how you do it. So all I got to do is Pick a color, it doesn't matter where you start. So I'm gonna start right here at this very top one. And then if it doesn't pop up, you wanna look at the conditional formatting. Sometimes it pops up on the top right, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna click the conditional formatting. Click this right here, it comes, opens up. Okay, so you can see right here where it says B23. Okay, so B23 is what makes these green colors come out. So let's look over here at B23. 23. So right now it's corrimos, which I don't want it to be corrimos. I want it to be the ella form of estar in the preterite, which is estuvo. So what I'm going to do is just change corrimos to estuvo. Make sure you keep those accent marks on there and then click done. And when you do that, you'll notice that several colored boxes disappear. Let's just do a couple more so you guys get the idea. I click this one right here. Click again. You'll notice that it's B25. So B25 on my new list is ellos hacer, which should be hicieron. You do not need to make, don't make those changes yet on, on the old answer sheet, okay? So I'm gonna change va to my, which is gonna be my new answer, which is hicieron. Done. You can see some boxes are disappearing, right? Let's, let's get rid of this black eye here. So I click that, click here. Oh, and we see that it's B8. B8, my new answer key is the two form of a star, which is estuviste. So we'll type that in here. Done. And you'll notice that the eye disappears. So you're just going to click on any color, doesn't matter if one. Find the corresponding uh, box, so B13, and then change it to whatever your new answer is supposed to be. Just go through all of them. And then when you're done with that, the fish will be completely gone. And then you can also delete all of these old answers right here. And you'll have something that looks kind of like this. You zoom in a little bit. So what should happen now is if I type the yo form of tener right here in this box, which is tuve in the preterite, a little bit of the fish comes up. Juvenir is viniste. There's some more fish. There's some more fish. So that's all you have to do to make those changes to it. Uh, play around with it um, and um, let me know how it goes. And again, make sure you thank uh, this gentleman right here for having created this activity. And thanks for stopping by and watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.